Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Cam Christo and I have reorganised the front lines. This is the Imperial British Campaign. We are struggling at the moment, uh, in the east especially. We are facing some problems. Um, supply limit, mostly, is causing absolute pain. And I've decided to solve that by sending substantially more troops into this region. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I, how I hold here without deploying more men to the region. I suppose on the bright side, they're probably suffering from a supply shortage as well, at least. So I can count that, I can count that as a point in my favour. Um, you should stay here. Try and hold them there. Yeah, maybe an attack in there could be good actually. No, 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 actually, don't attack there. Just come down here. And let's try and push them out, split them in half down here. That seems good. Okay, um, on this front... We are struggling a little, it looks like. Let's do a cycle in and out. I put money on the fact that the, yeah, the armor is not deployed. I wish you would deploy your best units first, automatically. That would be handy. Ooh, nice. We're getting an exiled veteran attack bonus because Germany's occupying Dutch cores in that fight. That's cool. I really like that mechanic. It's fun. <clears throat> um, what else should I be doing? Right, we've got crap tons of air experience. Let's upgrade our uh, Tempests. Hey, Tempests, get a bunch of reliability and attack. And then... That looks good to me. Okay, and then from this one, switch it over. Good. Still short a bit on aluminium. Gonna keep importing from the Free American Empire. Which obviously feels like a little bit of a betrayal, but that's okay. We'll be at war with them. When I say extremely shortly, I literally mean right now. So, so much for those imports. Uh, America. America. Say yes. <laughs> Join war. Send. Game? I haven't turned the AI off by mistake, have I? No. Uh, America. <laughs> How about Ireland? Let me join this war. Is this a bug? What's going on? I could justify on them quite quickly. Should be funny because we could like nick New England or something. America, <laughs> let me join the war. We should change off free trade, by the way, obviously, and we should have done it ages ago. Um, the iron situation is just, it's just devastating, and a huge part of it is because of free trade. Um, so we should switch off free trade for sure, and I will be doing that as soon as it becomes possible. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know why they're not letting me join in. Uh, it's not that they're not wanting me to join in, so I think it's a bug. That being the case, I'm gonna fix the bug. Hey, Britain. See, they didn't get the pop-up. It's probably a bug because of one of my mods. They didn't actually get my request. Anyway, there we go. I'm in the war. Rock and roll. Let's stomp these guys, shall we? Most of you are actually superfluous. Oh, nice. They finished off this bit here. We're going to be involved in a grand push to liberate Texas. Texas loyally holding to the Union. Very nice. Very good to see that. <clears throat> Getting a... Uh, gaining some respect, Texas, right now. I wonder if uh, after this kind of civil war, do you think Texas would like mick, nick a bit of Louisiana <laughs> or something as like repayment for having stayed loyal? <laughs> Free France has called the Mexican Republic in as our ally. Oh, they weren't in the war previously? Oh, that would have been helping a lot. <laughs> so that's a shame. Very nearly the vital supply line to the Western Mexican possessions cut. So we need to get our men down there pronto. To help out. Uh, air situation, not the best, but probably, yeah, most of these air bases approaching full. So we'll fix the air situation by taking, uh, by taking air bases. That's fine. That should work. Just a-okay. Good. That's the whole north being captured. We're not actually going to gain any land in this war, of course, and we may temporarily lose land up near Vancouver. There are some factories over there, but not a very large amount. Hardly hardly the industrial heartland of Canada, which is over here in southern Ontario. 
Okay, come on, keep driving through. The rest of you guys, get yourselves down here. With all due haste, which is a lot. Texas holding very admirably. And that is a heavily industrialized area with, of course, a stupendous quantity of resources. We don't want to be over-importing from anyone. Oh, it's not... It's not ideal. It's not ideal, this civil war, but we will... We will make do. We will make do. We're going to get some experience out of it. Plus, it's forced me to deploy some men to America who are probably going to end up helping them in bringing the Mexican war to a uh, more speedy conclusion. Japanese just have so many divisions. They outnumber the Germans, I think. No, oh, Jesus, no they don't. Germany has been dramatically increasing the number of divisions it has deployed, apparently. Bloody hell. That's, uh, that's quite something. Okay, uh, I would like a tank upgrade, please. Over 100% reliability. It's my kind of tank. Oh, fudge. I just switched over from the Comet to the uh, the other tank. That's not good. 100% reliability is what we're looking for here. All right, I guess I'll just switch them back. Well, there's some production efficiency we'll never get back. Rip. <laughs> oh well, it's not the worst thing in the world. There's the maintenance company, which we should be throwing in the tank brigades. I suppose I'll swap it out for uh, anti-air. Let's see, what's that gonna do to our anti-air? It's gonna be two damage. Yeah, it's fine. We're fine on, like, surpluses and stuff, aren't we? Yeah, just a slight medium tank surplus. Uh, deficit, even. That's probably just because I have slightly overdone it in the training queue, if I had to guess. So let's fix that. Okay, wipe these guys out of New York, please. New York treacherously joining the Union. Sorry, the, uh, the Empire, rather than sticking with the Union. How dare they. Unfilled imports. Deal, Fudgy. Okay, well, I guess we'll go down a factory on that then. As we retake the land in America, of course, the situation there will improve. Okay, we've got an airbase here now. Room for 200. You can fly from there. You guys have all been devastated by the Japanese Air Force. We will delete you. <clears throat> um, let's have some more fighters, I suppose. Well, actually, let's put close air support in. Not British manpower. What are you talking about? Never British manpower. We want... Do, 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 do. We'll go with some Shaw, some Danes. No? They do have enough manpower to create, actually. Ecuador. Sorry, Salvadorian. Sounds good to me. Naval battle? Ah, oh, just enemy subs going down, it looks like. Yeah, but it said naval battle, so I would have thought there was an actual fight. They do have a fleet that is not insignificant, which is very unfortunate because that fleet will... Continue fighting for the Axis. <coughs> Excuse me. We will continue fighting for the Axis even after we uh, actually beat them on land, which is very unfortunate. It's a sizable chunk of the Navy that, once the Americans had beaten Mexico, might have been focused on the Japanese, which is where I really need it, not continuing to cause problems for us. If they sent their big fleet to the Channel right now, we could find ourselves in trouble. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so it looks like we're managing to sink plenty of maybe volunteers or uh, lend leases. Only one, uh, only two lend leases, but we are hopefully doing good work sinking them. Yes, sir. You go and prepare for an attack on New York, please. Good. It's a bit loud, even if it's a great soundtrack. Take that down a few notches. It's oblivion, of course. Okay, we're on the front line. Yes, sir. Spare the rod. Spoil the continent. Crush them all. Okay. Good. Should be okay. In something like this. This little pocket set up there. Great. Do, 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 do. Okay, crushing through there. Very nice. Meanwhile, in the north, <coughs> New York fiercely defended. We may need to uh, do a bit more planning. 
before we actually launch our, our full offensive in there. Shouldn't be a problem though, once they uh, set there. Republican Spain guys are all leaving, which means I'm likely going to be able to sink a fair number of them. And there we go, we've got them in a defensive battle, which is where we want them. Good. Ready, yeah, and where is this guy going? Halt, halt, please. Thank you. I thought I saw someone walking north, but no. We'll just keep them in defensive battles for a bit, bleed them out. They are doing their best to take out my subs with a slight amount of success, but nothing too worrying. Tank on every province. No serious supply issues. And I'm feeling good. Seems good to me. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, meanwhile down here, they drove back my tank. Really? Seems unlikely. Struggling here. Once we reinforce in, perhaps. I want to be able to take this tile. But obviously, the AI doesn't build, so there's no infrastructure going up in these areas. Which is what the Chinese would be focusing on, of course, if they were a player. I suppose what I could do is build manually, personally build infrastructure in all these states. No, I can't, because they're not even in my faction. So, hmm. Problematic. Alright, well, let's bolster troop morale by having a win, shall we? The Balearic Isles will fall to the British. Good. That should be an easy attack, depending on how much defense the uh, locals decide to put up, which I don't expect will be much. A little pinning action here. Drive them out of that tile, which you're already done. Let's reinforce here. Good. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to be able to avoid Texas falling, which is just fantastic. It's just amazing news. We uh, would have had real problems if we started having fuel shortages during our massive tank offensive against the Americans. And with the Americans. All right, they're looking low org. We're not crossing a river on either tile. Yeah, it's going to crush them. It's going to absolutely annihilate them. Nice. There goes 10 divisions. So much for the glory of the American Empire. Alright. And there is our line. There is our connection to Texas. Glorious. Texas, the oil well of the world. It is now losing ground quite rapidly <clears throat> against this many-sided push. And of course there are Italian divisions down in the south. Less American, less, um, I know actually quite a few German divisions down here still. Ready, Keep the push going. Close up that pocket. Keep pronto. Get south. Okay, let's do this thing. We need to secure Texas with all haste. I know I said that before. I'll probably say it again. It's very true and very important. Ready. Okay, we can cut in all the way along the line. Excellent. All right, you guys just move to the line. Good. Meanwhile, in the north, get me more cutting in please if we could encircle Springfield that would be nice there's marines excellent I'll keep researching them <clears throat> need to get ready for some big time naval invasions whether we'll cut our teeth on Japan or Italy probably Italy almost certainly Italy because Japan is just such a freaking pain right now I was so pleased when it occurred to me that we could build infrastructure um, around here with our mod, but we actually can't because they're not in our faction. Just devastating news. Looks like we are going to be able to take here. Actually defended by... Uh, oh, why is the flag German? There's no Germans here. Ah, German port. Ship in port. That'll be it. Okay, almost have contact here, but they're defending these river crossings fiercely. That will not save them. Get in here, one of you up here. In fact, you know what? Take it to the next level. Oh, up here. Good. Superb. On. Keep on attacking. Nice. Uh, what else should we be doing right now? I'm sure you have some ideas. <laughs> um, well, our extra 200 CAS are wanted over southern China, that's for sure. We don't need to be running any <laughs> missions against their navies. Um, and I think I could probably afford to steal 200 experienced fighters 
to fly over the same. Help us out a bit down here. Seems good to me. Ah, oh, darn. This attack is turning against us. Let's not bleed out against a failed target. Let's just reprioritize and come back when we have marines against that one. Okay, they're broken in the north. These guys should all be strat redeploying, which they are. Connection to Texas is incredibly close at hand. Just one tile away on a couple of different fronts. That's excellent, excellent news. There it is. Connection to Texas. That'll greatly assist the supply situation in Texas itself. And it will help us, obviously, going forward as we reinforce the region. Get down here. Okay. Driving these guys out of their pocket in the south should begin with New Orleans so that they cannot escape and we can actually inflict all of these units as direct casualties on the enemy, rather than merely people moved from one part of the front line to the other. Good. They are moving slightly north of New Orleans, although it looks like the Netherlands might be able to prevent them from doing so, and even if they do, that's fine. We can sneak in behind them, and it will be even better. God, I love the Oblivion soundtrack. Such a good game. Ready, there goes New Orleans. Rip. And now the rest of their front begins to buckle. Excellent. Ready, Infantry, who are managing to make a connection here. Let's be having you on the Mexican front. Uh, we can't be having any serious movement into Texas from the south. Oops. Good. <clears throat> Anyone else need Ready, orders? Yeah, if you could cut in here. We're going to be going encirclement after encir rolling encirclements, as I call them, against the uh, Bay of Bengal naval invasion. That strikes me as bad, because the uh, the Dutch people leaving left us low on troops here. All right, I guess I will shore up the Indian coastal defences now that that's got me. A little concerned. Still need a few more. Don't really want to weaken the main Chinese line, but... We also have no garrisons in lots of ports around this region, but I think it's very unlikely they'll invade there before already having broken us uh, in further... closer to home areas. Let's cycle in some support there. Get an extra tank in. Scout here is not active. What's wrong with you? Nothing, they're just not doing it. Alright, well, back to it. <clears throat> Finding and destroying more German fleets in the north. Excellent. And look at that. The United States is beginning to take shape once again. Fall of New Orleans will make our work here trivial as we just wrap up the few remaining pockets of resistance. Good. I'll keep this guy here just to uh, cover our back. Looks like he's handling he's handling that little pocket. Yeah, keep him there in case these guys want to cross over and try and retake New Orleans via encirclement to the north. Which, of course, we shall not be having. There's our pocket. You guys can clear out the pocket as you drive west. Superb. Uh, I would love these two down here. And you as well. Get your butt down here. Excellent. And there we go. Wiping them out. out. Marvellous. There goes a few more divisions. Okay, in the north. Hey. Nice. Chief of Staff Committee. Pretty good. Gives us that command power increase bonus, which is nice. Let's finally grab that jet technology bonus. Your decision? A few more war propagandas to switch off. No, thank you. Desperate defense. I don't think we are quite in desperate defense situations yet. I suppose that's because I've begun to lose core territory up here in uh, in Canada. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
and then finish them off. You should head down to the anti-Mexican front, which sounds like a political party. And that should liberate Oklahoma. Nice. Those tanks, not the uh, anti-Mexican front. Okay. How close to capitulation is the Free American Empire? Maybe we don't want to bother pushing in from this side. We just want to go up and then down the coast from the top. And the assumption that that will be the best strategy. No, because if we do that, we'll have no infantry cover. So let's just expand this front. That seems fine too. Good, good, good. All right, I'm going to call it a part there. In the next episode, the Free American Empire will fall. Thank God we secured the American industry and oil for ourselves. That is extremely good news. We also may well get sufficient um, political power that we can finally cease free trade, which will really help with steel and massively increase our naval production, which right now is at a complete standstill <laughs> due to lack of fuel. All right. See you next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.